Welcome back everyone to Astian's Let's Play of the Cat Lady on El Tari's YouTube channel where we last left off. We killed Dr. X, one of the, I presume, five parasites of the world or of the UK. I guess because this is set in London, isn't it? And we made it home and we're about to have a mental breakdown. As you can see on the left, bottom left, we have a red bar that's almost full and a blue one that's partly full. We're going to have a coffee and a cigarette. Oh shit, do I not have any cigarettes anymore? Okay. We can have a smoke. Although smoking's bad for you children, don't do it at home. This should hopefully calm her down. I'm back in my old life. But... How can I restore what's been broken for years? Just take it day by day. So far, nothing seems to go right. Every little thing is against me. Maybe it's my destiny to lose after all. You saved a girl's life. And now those parasites? Like if it wasn't enough. But I killed Dr. X. And I saved somebody's life. Exactly. That felt good. You did a good thing, Susan. It's getting late. I should summon the cats now. I want to see them tonight. I want to see the cats too. Yay! Okay. We're not going to have a breakdown. If we play the piano, that should summon the cats, I think. This again. Standing by the river, I close my eyes. This is very poetic. One jump, and I'm there. I made a play last semester, um, which reminds me of this. Last semester, the semester before, last year. No. Someone jumped after me. Oh. He will never be my friend. Oh. Cats always pay a visit when I play the piano. It's really late, but do I really care? I use this old piano to summon my cats. They come when they hear me playing. Unfortunately, so do the neighbours, sometimes. They get off to you playing. I think I'm going to have a breakdown. I'm not going to be able to get... <laughs> no! The red bar's too high. Actually, I could understand why the neighbours don't like it. My neighbour, one of my neighbours, plays the piano. Sometimes. And sometimes it's at one o'clock in the morning. And sometimes they decide it's appropriate to play Bohemian Rhapsody at one o'clock in the morning. And sing along to it horribly. They must be deaf tone, seriously. Tone deaf. <laughs> deaf tone. It's not the name of a band. Anyway, it's, uh, it's really annoying when they do that. Kitties. Come inside, my darlings. I've missed you. Ah, kitty. And who's that? Teacup. I bet you thought you'd never see me again. Well, make yourselves at home. Dinner is ready to be served. Am I going to put... Come on, everybody. Gather around. It's time for dinner. Okay. Ah, oh, kitty kitties. These are for my cats. I always put the food out for them once they're here. What do I do now? This I'm doing. You never eat my food, Tika. Is this all that wants to be You already had your dinner, have you? I think it is. It must be the one that no, wants me to die. I get it. I know. You're a good friend. The best friend I have, really. Come, Blue Bar, go all the way up. The only friend in the whole fucking world. You come over to keep me company and want nothing in return. I appreciate it. You should know. A cat that we had if staying here once was really I've been awesome. Lately. I've been to hell and back, my boy. His name was Charlie. But he was I'm so cute. Now, in my flat. 
alive. And it's still the same mess that it's always been. Deep breaths. I'm not sure how to deal with all this anymore. Don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I wish I could be like you. At peace with the world. Always smiling. No, don't answer the door. It's Someone's sending you a breakdown. But who could it be so late at night? If I had not burnt that... Can I eat the burger now? There goes a sad reminder of my own stupidity. I just threw it on the floor. Yeah, unfortunately I'm going to have a breakdown. Let's turn the light switch on. Who's this? Are you out of your mind? Do you know what time it is? I'm sorry. We've all had it with you and your bloody cats. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. Some of us have to get up early for work. You think it's okay to make noise at this time of the night? Oh, come on. Don't exaggerate. I stopped. I did play the piano, but only for a minute or two. Enough to wake me up. And this is not the first time either! Oh my god. If this happens again, you'll see pest control stepping in, and it won't be pretty! I didn't realise it was so late. I won't do it again. Maybe you should get yourself a bloody watch then, yeah? There are other people living here, you know. People with jobs. If this happens again, you'll see pest control stepping in, and it won't be pretty. You just said that. Okay, fine. I'll keep it down. Good night. Crap, him yelling at me is going to make me break down, isn't it? Damn cat lady. They should lock her up somewhere. Fucking nutcase. You're an asshole. No! Oh, now she's going to have a breakdown. Crap. If you prevent her from having a breakdown, she, um... You're able to get the good ending. We're not going to be able to get it now. Oh. So guys, just a reminder, don't burn the cheeseburger and don't use the milk that's in the fridge. Maybe she won't have a breakdown, maybe she'll be fine. Come on Susan, snap out of it, you'll be fine. Just a man yelling at you. Didn't mean anything by it, he was just cranky because you woke him up. I really like the art design in this game, seriously. What's she doing? So if I want to get the good ending I'll have to play this whole game again. I could go back to my previous save but I just can't be bothered. I mean, it's okay. Oh, Susan. Why are some of the paintings coloured and some of them aren't? I guess if you went through what she's been through so far, it doesn't surprise me that she had a breakdown. Like, being killed by the psychiatrist and then reviving after it, and then killing him. 
someone said actually, I think it was Svenny, said that the cat was the cat lady. Was the actually the Queen of Maggots, sorry. It's an interesting theory. I'd never thought of that before. Standing by the river, I'm thinking. Will I jump again? Why was I so stupid? No. The sun had a forlorn look upon Behind its face. Behind the closed doors. A golden blush I swept have across the horizon. With the razor. Oh no, really? Wow, we completed another chapter. That wasn't too long. But we screwed up. So we're not going to get the good ending. Bullet for Susan. She can't die, so why would she need a bullet? What's this? Uh, is that a road? Yeah. Hmm. I really like the music in this game. It's so tone appropriate. Did that guy call the pest controller? So foggy. What? This game jumps around so much that it get, I get really confused about what's going on. Oh. This, this mansion here and this bit where the lights are turning on, I'm pretty sure, yeah. This is homage to Maniac Mansion. Uh, it was a game that was produced in the early 90s, I think, or maybe it was the late 80s. I played it when I was a kid. Um, you'll see as well, if you've played Maniac Mansion before, the interior of this place exactly replicates Maniac Mansion, like the mansion in Maniac Mansion. body bag. Wait, they're my shoes. How did I get here? What the fuck? What, what is going on? I am confused. But how am I back here? Like, what's. I think it's better not to I've question slept this. All night and most of the day. Why am I still feeling tired? Because you overslept? Again? Oh, has that dickhead come back? Someone I'll give him a piece of my mind. I really hope it's not him again. You made me have a mental breakdown, you asshole. I was so close to not breaking down. But then I burnt that bloody cheeseburger. Oops. And I put off milk in my coffee. And that also contributed to me having a mental breakdown. And then there were other things that I couldn't help, like the shadow that appeared suddenly. And the electricity turning off. Let's turn the light on. What? Who's that? Hello, Ms. Ashworth. How are you? Are you feeling better? Do you know me? Do I know you? Of course. You don't remember me. My name is Mitzi Hunt. We met a few days ago. You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had were real good. You're the girl that said you were my daughter. You probably had one too many, mind you. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. It is me, indeed. A girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. Well, you saved my life. 
I'll understand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but... I had other reasons for it, too. What reasons? Personal reasons. It's important. It's important. That's why I came here the other night. To talk to you. Okay. Why would you want to talk to me? Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. I saw the ad you'd put in the paper. It seems you have a room to rent. Did I? I... They still print that. It was months ago. Oh. Nobody ever called. I forgot all about it. I gave up on it, actually. Well, I'd like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. Oh. But... You've got the room and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? I'm very tidy. I don't make much noise and... I promise not to spend too long in the bathroom in the morning. What did you do for work? I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. I'm sorry. But I did. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. What do you think? Do we have a deal? I don't know. I don't know anything about you. Well, I guess I could do with some extra money. But... Great! Can I come in? I like that painting that she has on the wall. Uh... You said you were my you daughter. You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? How can I trust you? How should I know you won't slit my throat when I sleep? Jesus, what's wrong with you? Wouldn't she have Stay done it when throat? you were dead already? Why are you always so suspicious of people? If I wanted to do such a thing, I would never have bothered saving you, would I? Just think about it for a second. Mm. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. Why did you want to come in and the I first place? I wanted to see if you've made it. Oh, okay. How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... Okay, I'll tell you. You won't like it probably, but I'll tell you. I picked the lock. What? You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He taught me some of that stuff too. Oh. Look, I've got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a few types of lockpicks in it. They're very expensive. Custom made. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. I see. But why would you have but picked you the know, lock in the first place? Like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. It's not important anymore. I guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? My question exactly. I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. Oh. The noise they made. It was incredible. Like ghosts howling. And for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. Oh. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and got the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. Well, glad you a did. A hunch. Great. You saved her life. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Oh. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? I slept at the train station last night. What? There's a guy there who docks rats. You should see him. Wait, can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why are we sleeping on Why the street? Why not go to a hotel then? I hate hotels. 
more than train stations with homeless weirdos and rats. I love hotels. Robbie? Oh no, he's cool. He's all right. And he kept the rats away. By eating them. Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it. This flat's falling apart. It's cold. It's dark. It's a bit moldy. This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city center, and there are only two buses going through here, and that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. Not really They'd selling yourself in a bag there, Susan. And drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. I'm not exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? People? Just people. I don't give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. Good. But I do like cats. Me too. You think they'll smell the rats on me? They might eat you. Shower. Anyway, guys, uh, we should probably stop here because my timer was about to go off. So this is Astian on El Tari's YouTube channel. Take you on a Let's Play of the Cat Lady. When we return, we will continue questioning Mitzi, I guess. Thanks for watching, and I hope when I stop the camera, it isn't going to proceed the dialogue. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to like, subscribe, favorite, and or share as it helps me out immensely. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. <laughs>